Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole spent another day under fire over his position on gun control. His party's platform originally promised to undo a liberal ban on certain firearms. But yesterday, O'Toole said he'd keep the ban if he were elected. And tonight, the party finally admits it's changed its platform. Our David Aiken is following the Conservative campaign for us. David? Robin, the Liberal War Room has dug up a 2018 recording featuring Fred DeLore. Now, DeLore is currently the Conservative National Campaign Manager. He's running the election campaign for the Tories. But in 2018, he was a registered lobbyist for the National Firearms Association, the NFA. Now, the NFA has fiercely opposed Liberal attempts to tighten gun laws. And in this recording, which the Liberals provided to Global News, DeLore is making the case that the NFA needs to politicize mobilize itself to defeat Liberal MPs. We're going to be building something here, a uh, permanent structure within the NFA, to really uh, to give ourselves a much louder voice in the ridings as well, to make sure that politicians are hearing us loud and clear. Fast forward two years, and Delory is first managing Aaron O'Toole's run for conservative leader, and is now running the National Conservative Election Campaign. But O'Toole says Delory did not formalize any relationship between the National Firearms Association and the Conservatives. There is zero quid pro quo. Delory, through a party spokesman, confirmed what his leader said and noted that he had severed his business relationship with the NFA more than two years ago, before the last election. On top of that, when it came time to endorse a candidate in the Conservative leadership race of 2020, the NFA did not endorse O'Toole, it endorsed Derek Sloan. But O'Toole may have trouble with some in his own caucus on this issue. Hours after O'Toole said Sunday that he would keep the liberal restrictions in place, an incumbent conservative running in a southeastern B.C. riding, Rob Morrison, said on Facebook, quote, The conservative position has not changed and is as it always has been. We will repeal the liberal gun ban. O'Toole on Saturday said Morrison is incorrect. I'm the leader. And we will have an approach focused on public safety, focus on maintaining restrictions in place and having a review of our classification system that removes the politics from this. But O'Toole's flip-flop on guns is now ammunition for his opponents, who say he cannot be trusted. Canadians are beginning to know what those of us who watch him in the House have known for a long time about Aaron O'Toole, is that he'll say anything to try and get elected. David, the first English language debate is set for Thursday. What will you be watching for? And it's the only English language debate, Rob, and that's why it will be even more important than normal. Now, for this debate, O'Toole goes into it arguably as the front runner, and that's because he has run a pretty safe campaign. He's managed to move his party to the center, and it's going to be Justin Trudeau on the attack trying to move O'Toole back out there to the right wing. And the Liberals will do that using some familiar wedge issues, gun control be one, abortion, two-tier health care. I expect that O'Toole is ready with some responses to brush aside those attacks. Um, but Trudeau is also going to have some incoming fire. One of the most effective moments from the French language debate last week was when NDP leader Jagmeet Singh uh, pressed Trudeau on the question that seems to have made a lot of voters angry, which is, why are we even having this election as the pandemic's fourth wave ramps up? Robin? David Aiken in Ottawa. Thanks, David.